What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description. So guys, today, today for the mod showcase, I've got another armor mod showcase for you today, and in fact, it's an armor and weapon mod showcase, and uh, truthfully, it's on the side uh, of the Civil War that I don't normally side with, but I saw it and it looked super freaking cool, and I decided, you know what, I'll put aside my, uh, my grievances and decide to show it. So, the name of the armor and weapon uh, and stuff like that, it's called Emperor's Will, and stuff like that. That. So, as you can see there in the description, the armor and weapons are craftable, requires Daedric smithing, and can also be found on General Tullius or after purchasing Proud Spire Manor. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check this bad boy out, shall we? So, inside of the forge, it will be under the Imperial place, obviously. So, we have Emperor's Great Wrath, which I assume is the two-handed greatsword version. The Emperor's Wrath, the one-handed sword. And then, guys, we get into the fun stuff. We got the General's Cape. The General Curris, General Greaves, uh, General Greaves, uh, General Helmets, and General Vambraces. So, pretty freaking sweet. Now, these are fairly expensive. It takes iron, it takes corundum, it takes steel, it takes leather, it takes all sorts of stuff, guys. Uh, so, let's go ahead and jump into my box of goodies over here. Let's grab my corundum, grab some of that, grab some of that, grab some of that, and we'll grab some of that. There we go. And we'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and jump back into Imperial, and we'll make that. We'll make that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Had a good beat going to it. Alrighty, good, good stuff. So now, let's go ahead and unfavorite all of the stuff that I have so far, and favorite all of this stuff just for ease of use. And let's see, where is it at? That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. There we go. Alright, so now, let's go ahead and we'll equip the two-handed sword for now, because I love me some two-handed swords. And let's check this bad boy out, shall we? Three, two, one, check me out! Oh, baby, look at me now! <laughs> let's see, let's take off my uh, my face mask. Do I have that favorited? Uh, face mask, take that off. Oh, baby, baby, look at that! <laughs> that looks cool! So, I'm not a fan of Imperial armor, I'm not a fan of the Imperials whatsoever, but dude, this armor is awesome. I can definitely dig this. If you want a more imposing Imperial armor, this is the way to do it. Let me get away from the water, because it was a tad bit loud, couldn't even hear myself talk. There we go, that's better. Let's go ahead and take these gigantic arrows off my back too. No need to look at those. I forgot I unfavorited them. Let's see, Ebony Dragon's Bane, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now you can see the massive sword on my back. All right, let's take a look at this armor in, uh, like, retrospect. So, as you can see, the textures are just insanely high resolution. Everything just looks so good, from the grays to the reds to the purples to the bronzes and everything like that. All the textures, they flow so well together. And what's neat is you can really customize the way you want your armor to look. So you can have your, your dragons up there uh, just without the cape and have it look really weird like that, or you can have your, your cape on just like that and have it connected to your dragons uh, up on your up on your epaulets and stuff like that. And then uh, as the epaulets connect to the uh, the breastplate and stuff like that, you got those nice little red ties and everything like that. And it just it all just looks so so nice. And it looks like there's a, like an ornamental dagger right there on my side. As you can see, it's kind of sticking out right there uh, underneath of my right arm, and it looks really nice like that. Now, as you can see, I have the vis visible favorited armor or a visible vis visible favorited weapons mod installed, so you can see the one-handed weapon on my left side and the two-handed weapon on my right side. I'll go ahead and take the cape off so you can see them both in their scabbards. But let's check these weapons out together. Oh, baby, that's a good-looking sword. Nice and silvery looking, you know, nice and sharp. 
Nothing too, too crazy, nothing too, too ornamental, nothing too, like, amazing looking, but it's a sword and it can get the damn job done. So, the the armor itself is a little bit more flamboyant than I would say that a, uh, that a general, general would wear. I mean, it looks like he's wearing a damn dress underneath of his, uh, <laughs> underneath of his, uh, underneath of his armor. I mean, look at that, he's got his red, his red, uh, like, linens and stuff like that, along with his purple and gold and stuff like that, so it's a little more out there. I would say, but it is quite ornamental. I don't think I would wear this uh, as a combat armor. I would wear this more along the lines of like a ceremonial armor. Uh, and so that's what I would say this armor would be more along the lines appropriate for. But let's take a look at the different pieces by themselves. So let's take a look at the arms. The van braces, they look beautiful. The gold, like the bronzish gold color, Mixing with the silver and the like the the gunmetal gray just looks really really good now the cape obviously Let's go ahead and take the cape off um, The cape looked kind of weird as it was just kind of floating off my body So that looks really really nice, and then let's see let's go ahead and take a look at the helmet so the helmet itself looks very, very cool, very reminiscent of the Imperial helmets, as you've seen, uh, like the Penitus Oculatus helmets, they look very, very, like, um, very, very Roman. And uh, I would definitely say that it's it takes cues from the Penitus Oculatus helmets and uh, puts it into this nice general helmet. And it looks really nice. Now the greaves, those are the boots. Now the boots are very similar to the the van braces in it that they've got the the gunmetal gray from the iron and the silver or the iron and the steel ingots, but they mix very well with the corundum ingots and it looks very very nice. The textures are all very high resolution and everything looks really really nice. It's hard to get in an in close and look at the boots, but as you can see from afar, they look really really nice and they fit really well. And then finally we've got the cuirass and as you can see, it's a big cuirass. It covers from all the way at your neck all the way to your shins with the linens. And it's a nice looking cuirass. Now, as I said, this is more of a ceremonial armor. No, you wouldn't really use this in a battle situation. At least in my opinion, you would not. But everything just looks so nice. It flows very well together. And the armor as a whole looks incredibly nice. So I would definitely consider downloading this mod. If you want kind of like, if you're a role-playing person in Skyrim, if you love to be like, um, if you love the Imperials for one, or if you love to be someone that gets immersed in the role-playing, definitely consider downloading this mod because it's, it's one of those things where if you want to go from like point A to point B, but you want to have a traveling armor, or you want to have like a more, a more ceremonial armor, this is definitely the way to do that. Now the one-handed sword is just the two-handed sword, but in one-handed variants, and it's a pretty nifty looking sword, I gotta give it that. Very beautiful sword, very beautiful craftsmanship, and it's just good looking weapons, great looking armor. So, I would definitely consider downloading this mod, guys. I, I'm not a fan of the Imperials, but the armor itself is beautiful, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod showcase, and if you did, make sure you smack that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.